So to understand autoimmunity, you must first understand the concept of tolerance. So tolerance is the immune system's ability to appropriately tolerate non-threatening substances in the body. There are three areas of tolerance that can become dysfunctional and ultimately contribute to autoimmune disease. So first, there is oral tolerance, which is the ability to tolerate food proteins. This is what you'll frequently see when you have problems with extensive food sensitivities. So people who lose oral intolerance feel as though they can't eat anything. They eliminate one food after another because their body continues to react to almost everything. And then there is chemical tolerance, which is your body's ability to tolerate a certain burden of chemicals within your environment. When your body is unable to break down and eliminate chemicals efficiently due to overload or problems with detoxification, you'll develop chemical intolerance. These are the people who walk down the cleaning section of the aisle and they get sick or they get headaches immediately after coming into contact with someone who's wearing a strong perfume or they randomly develop weird reactions to metals like nickel or aluminum. And finally, there is self-tolerance. So self-tolerance actually begins in utero. As your immune system develops as a fetus, it is constantly sampling tissues in order to gain a keen understanding of what is normal. That way, when the immune system contacts a pathogen or a foreign invader later in life, it can quickly attack it and eliminate the threat. Now, when the immune system loses self-tolerance, it will start to target normal tissues as being problematic. So loss of self-tolerance is what we call autoimmunity. This is when the immune system starts to attack your body's own cells inappropriately. So what causes autoimmune disease? Extensive research by Alessio Pisano, a world-renowned uh, gastroenterologist and researcher, has shown us that there are three primary factors that trigger autoimmune disease. So these three factors, genetic predisposition, intestinal permeability, and uh, immune dysregulation, and environmental triggers, are what we refer to as the autoimmune triad. Now together, they are what cause your immune system to go rogue and start attacking your own tissues. Most importantly, these are the factors that need to be addressed in order to stop the attack and put your body back into a state of remission.